Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can modernize your Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop. I'm using the latest Linux Mint version 21.2 and what should I say? In the end you will have a complete new user experience which is one of my favorite. So I would say let's start. At first we need a really nice background. You can of course choose the background you want I'm going with some of Pixabay, it's a German one. I like it very much. I select download and select my correct resolution. For you it also should be this one or the one at the bottom if you are using a 4 monitor. I'm heading with this and select download. After the image is downloaded I open it up in the folder and move it right to pictures. Sometimes this doesn't work so good because you have to hit the letters of pictures. You can also do it with Ctrl X and Ctrl V then in the pictures folder. So perfect. Now when the image is in the picture folder I right click it and select set as wallpaper. And then we have a really nice wallpaper. So let us address our panel here. I select right click and select move and select the upper red bar. I right click the panel and select panel edit mode. Then I'm heading to the clock here and move it right into the middle to the green field. And then I'm going with the show desktop symbol here in the right upper corner. I right click it and in this design it is removed. So I select remove corner bar it is called and I select yes. Also I want to remove the start icons here. I right click it and select remove grouped window list and confirm that and I also remove the separator here. Right click it and select remove separator and confirm that one too. And after that I'm going to applets, right click the bar here and select applets and then select download. Now some images are going to be downloaded. After that I'm selecting weather and install it. Perfect. On manage I click on the weather applet and select the plus icon here. After that we have a wet weather applet here. We need to add something more and I want to add the user applet it is called. I select it and click on add down here and move this user applet right side here. So this looks good now. I close the applet window and right click the panel, deactivate the panel edit mode. Then I left click the system clock and select date and time settings and select display the date. Then in my case I like that as most. If you want you can also display the seconds but in this design I won't do this. Okay perfect. Let us head over to the new panel down here. I right click the upper panel and select add a new panel and then I select the red bar at the bottom and then we have a brand new panel. I right click it and select panel settings here and I am adjusting the panel height to 54 I guess it was and set the visibility to intelligently hide panel. That is great because if a window gets near to the panel then it is displayed then it removes itself and um, yeah I like this feature very much. So I close the panel here, right click it again and select applets. Then in the applets window I'm searching for group to window list and add this. I close the applet window and right click the panel down here, switch on the panel edit mode and move the grouped window list into the middle to the green bar here and now it's aligned at the center. Now I can switch off the panel edit mode and I want to add some more apps in here. 
it is completely up to you which apps you add there but i recommend add the first the firefox then at the second the thunderbird so i'm selecting the menu here and drag and drop it in to the bar here also i want to add LibreOffice. i drag and drop it also there then i'm going with the video player it is called celluloid in this case i drag and drop it also there then i'm rearranging the terminal and in the end we have our file manager this is one example you can adjust it to your own needs of course now we have to go to the themes settings here the theme settings changed a bit in the newest linux mint version 21.2 um, I'm selecting the dark experience here and head over to the advanced settings. You can also, if you have an older Linux Mint version, just adjust these fields to the one you see here, then it's okay. But I'm changing the icons to, in my case, I'm going with the Yahoo Prussian dark, Prussian green dark theme and now we have such icons like in ubuntu which are looking quite nice you can choose the icon theme you want to choose i also like papyrus very much or numix is also a great icon theme um, breeze we also have here elementary is also great um, just choose one to your desire i'm going with yaru prussian green dark in this case and um, I am um, not finished because I forgot to set the um, color right. I'm going with mint rye dark teal, I guess it was. Yeah, mint rye dark teal I'm going with. And um, yeah, now I am finished with this themes one. Now we have a last step and this is the transparent panel. For that we have an extension in cinnamon there are many extensions in cinnamon you can download these they are great you can um, implement a desktop cube you can have wobbly windows you can have a dynamic wallpaper which is also great i have a, i will have a look to it um, because yeah i'm very interested in this and uh, at the moment i'm going here with the transparent panel extension I'm selecting install and select manage, click on it, select on plus or click on plus and then the transparent panels are activated. And now we have a really nice Linux Mint cinnamon theme, which is completely different, but also very modern. It is one of my favorites. Yeah, I hope you liked that video. I would enjoy to read your opinions about that theme in the comments. And yeah, that was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like to this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you at the next time and have fun using Linux. Bye.